I'm Keith Johnson. I'm the director of the Edelman Planetarium here. This is named after Gene and Rick Edelman, who were the alumni from Rowan, who gave us the funding to make the institute, the facility, what it is. It's a multi-use facility. We uh, serve a variety of different kind of clients, both within the university environment and also outside. We have astronomy classes that come in here fairly frequently. Um, in fact, this was the original impetus behind the construction of a planetarium in the new science hall, was to serve the astronomy classes. But we also have shows, public shows on uh, weekends that are open to anybody in the community. And we have school groups that come in all the time. We have over nearly 300 school groups came in last year for, to the planetarium. We have a variety of shows that are available for different grade levels. Um, we have other special activities that take place in here. Students use it for our, the uh, film festival that uh, takes place every year at the end of the year. We have student clubs that come in here. We have an astronomy club that meets in here. So it's, it's uh, used in quite a few different ways. We have a variety of different things that we can use here in the planetarium. We have this big star ball that produces the star studded sky, a typical fixture in most of the older planetariums especially. But we also have laser light shows, rock and roll music, and on weekends, and there's no scientific value to this, and no education, but it's a lot of fun, and uh, we attract a lot of students to, to, that, uh, to that activity. In December, we have started a tradition last year of a holiday show, it's called Season of Light, and it talks about all the different ways in which we celebrate the return of the sun to the sky, we celebrate light in the midst of a season of darkness, the holiday customs from a number of different cultures, and we talk uh, in an extended uh, session about the Star of Bethlehem, what that might have been if it were a natural phenomenon. It's a, a, a very favorite topic of astronomers at Christmas time. We're going to have uh, shows on Saturday nights and Sunday afternoons for the first three weekends in December. And the schedule is always up on the Planetarium website. You can always find out more about what's going on at the Planetarium there. In the future, we'll have other shows. We try and do public shows, uh, two, two different public shows every semester. And in January, we'll be starting one on bad astronomy, the way in which astronomy is misused in TV and movies and in books and on websites and in astrology and many other ways. And uh, we, we think that'll be a, a very interesting, fun show.